It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. Well, it turns out the only thing scarier than Donald Trump acting unpresidential is Donald Trump acting presidential. <laughs> In response to the Syrian regime's chemical weapons attack, President Trump on Thursday sent 59 Tomahawk missiles to disable a Syrian airfield. Because when Donald Trump is angry, he always presses send. <laughs> this is one of those moments where it seems extra jarring that Donald Trump is our president. Even if you're a Trump supporter, it's got to seem a little crazy that he's starting a real war with Assad while he's still bogged down in a Twitter war with Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Remember after Trump got elected and everyone was like, stop taking Trump literally. He's not literally going to ban Muslims and deport Mexicans and bomb the hell out of everyone. All I'm saying is if I were Hillary Clinton right now, I'd start getting in prison shape. <laughs> Now, I may be oversimplifying these details, but the way it looks is the U.S. has attacked Assad, who, like us, is already at war with ISIS. But Assad is a close ally with Russia, who Trump has said he wants to work with to defeat ISIS, even though the biggest threat to ISIS is Assad, who Trump just bombed. Now, in case you're having trouble following that, here's a reenactment of what I just described. Simple enough, right? <laughs> now, this attack comes as a surprise because just Monday, the president said he wanted nothing to do with the Syrian conflict. And by Thursday, he had already attacked them. He's handling conflict the way my mother handles family drama. At first, she's like, this ain't none of my business. Y'all better leave me out of this. Y'all grown. Then three days later, she's outside my ex-girlfriend's job in a tracksuit with a brick in one hand and her wig in the other. <laughs> Trump also broke protocol by not waiting for Congress's approval. He didn't even wait till he was home. He was still on vacation in Margaritaville or wherever he calls that place. <laughs> and he just sent 60 missiles from Amazon Prime on a whim. <laughs> president Trump met with the Chinese president this week at his Mar-a-Lago estate. And when, he stood next to, and when they stood next to each other, for the first time, one thing became very clear. If you mash them together, they both look exactly like Steven Seagal. <laughs> On Friday, the Senate voted to confirm Supreme Court nominee Neil Gorsuch, which made it extra awkward for Merrick Garland's family when he pretended to come home again after another long day at the Supreme Court. <laughs> this week, White House Chief Strategist Steve Bannon was removed from the National Security Council. And, <laughs> and this time, he probably can blame the Jews. The White House revealed that Jared Kushner has traveled to Iraq with the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. God, what a dork. Why is he wearing that vest? He's dressed like Colin when he goes to buy weed from my guy without me. <laughs> it was my first time. <laughs> This photo represents what frustrates me most about this administration, which is their complete lack of self-awareness. They are the worst thing that rich white guys can be, which is oblivious. Like Jeff Sessions, the other day, he's accused of being racist. The first thing he did this week as attorney general was to reduce oversight on police departments. Way to pick up on the general vibe of the country. <laughs> then four days into sexual assault awareness a month, Trump comes out of nowhere to defend a guy accused of sexual assault which I don't think is how the month is traditionally celebrated. <laughs> and now, while we're on the verge of World War III, Jared Kushner rolls onto a military base in his best yacht rock outfit. <laughs> I mean, come on, you're going to see generals, not Vampire Weekend. <laughs> the New York Times has reported that Bill O'Reilly and Fox News have paid out $13 million to five different women to settle their sexual harassment claims. $13 million to five women. Best case scenario, that means you're so bad with women that every time you've tried to flirt, it costs you $2.5 million. <laughs> I'm bad with women, too, but the most it's ever cost me was a two-star rating on Uber Pool. 